Crash and crack, that's what happened to the two cool kids. Oh, we're, we're alive though. <gasps> it was supposed to happen. Hey, six. No, 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 no. Oh, you're okay, okay. Come on. Come here. Whoa. Ugh. Glad you're okay. Glad we're together. There's some weird ghost puffs coming out of that mitten. This thing right here, I'll show you. Right here. Or this bell bone bag, whatever it is. I'm glad you didn't get crushed, Six. That would have been a terrible way for you to go. I, but I was going to be, like, genuinely shocked if, like, out of nowhere, Six was just dead. <laughs> Goodness gracious, big sneeze. Hmm. Alright, I'm guessing this block is important, as they usually are. Robert Ducky, you're the one. Do -do -do -do. Again, with the hypnotic static. We'll walk towards it like the crazy person we are. Because somehow we're able to manipulate. Which then I think activates the nightmares. I'm not quite sure, but it's, it sure seems like that's the case. There we go. It's a little hard to tune those things, and it's the same hallway every dang time. The same strange slow-mo hallway as we try to reach the door with the eye. What is behind the door with the eye? We never quite get there. Close this time, real close this time. We open the door. And behind the door with the eye is... Uh. Oh my... Oh, oh god. Oh god, an evil man. He's tall and slender. Slender man! <gasps> Yo, don't want to face him on a dark stormy night. Oh god, now he's in the TV. He knows we saw him. He was there. What the heck? It's not shutting off. It's not breaking. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, he's crawling. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Holy cow. This is freaking creepy. Keep going, keep going, Six, keep going. Try to hide here. Oh my god, oh my god he's tilting the whole room. Don't take Six. <gasps> no! <gasps> Okay, now, now this is serious. He stole the girl. She's like a, oh my god, she's one of those static things that we touch and they disintegrate. Look, she's gone. Oh my god. He turned her into a static shell. We gotta, we gotta go into the TV. Go in. Go in, buddy. Yes.
Oh man. Well, I don't know that we're in a TV world or just a portal to a different world, but like a portal within, I'm sorry, within our same world. I don't know if it's a different world or, you know. Hmm. We're gonna keep just going through the TVs maybe? That ain't budging. Oh my gosh, it's a super strange teleportation method. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. Now we're messing with teleportation. We're going to le levitate. levitate this TV and elevate it up to the next level. Okay, cool. So that now when we go through, we pop out on that side. Oh, cool. What a nifty little... Teleport power up, basically. Building just popped in. Hey, now. There we go. That guy is very menacing. I do not really want to meet him. Ugh. I can't believe he stole our friend, too. Do we have our flashlight? Oh, I can't turn it on outside. It's so grim and dreary. I thought maybe this, the flashlight would brighten the moon, brighten our spirits a bit. Don't seem like it just yet. Ride the hook of pain. All right. And I don't want to risk sliding down the, uh, the siding there, the roofing. I was going to say, I felt like I heard faint music or faint singing. Remote? Can we pick it up? Oh, we have a remote now always? Heck yeah. I'm probably going to have to get him like locked in a TV or something. being silent. I have no idea where this game is taking us. That whole TV mechanic seems incredibly intriguing. But it's so spooky. Oh. I can't go in. Was I not supposed to turn that TV off, I guess, maybe? Hmm. Maybe I goofed by turning that first TV off. It gave me the option, so I thought, oh. I'm supposed to mess with the practicing on and off of the TVs. Let's see. Oh, hey, it's a hat. Officer. Officer Buzzle Billy. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a way to get back up there. Oh. Huh. That's interesting because that, that just takes me back to where I was. I gotta do something weird with the teleporting, I guess. Like, I go through here and... How am I going to get across the other side? Okay. Huh.
I wonder if you have to like portal style chain jumps or something. What the heck? One of my. Huh? This is very hard without six. It really seems like I have to push this crate, this thing. Let's see. Oh, yes, I can. Okay, good. Aha, uh -huh, so it is what I thought. We're going to carry this. Grab on, turn it. There you go. Perfect. Okay, so now we use this television to our advantage to get back here to make the jump. Beautiful. Yeah. These look, these puzzles kind of remind me of Portal in a weird way. I don't know that we'll be using any like build momentum on Portal. You like jump off a platform to go through a portal at a faster speed to like launch out of another portal. I don't know that we'll be doing anything like that, but this does seem like a pretty satisfying way to uh, navigate the world. Ooh. A hanger zip line. I do like zip lines. They're very fun. Done some big zip lines in California and West Virginia. Woo! Pop goes the clothespins. Oh. Sounds like there are more televisions. Hey, lady. Uh oh. Wow. Yo! Turn off the TV, and they come sucking after me. Yeesh. None of that. None of that. We don't like that at all. Open sesame. All right, so leave the TV on. I think when the TV's on, I can run past and they won't hear me. Yeah. Completely mesmerized. Good, good, good. Huh. Oh, in some way I'm gonna have to like hide in here and get the lady to come open something or do something? Oh, maybe not. Yeah, it seems like I... Oh no, okay, I'm good. Cool. Need to draw her this way, I guess. Oh, she's gonna try to cr like, crawl and open the window, maybe? Oh, I got you. Old lady mesmerized over here with that TV off, then I can turn this TV on and teleport. Perfect. Waha, you goof. You just watched a boy pop out of the What is wrong with their faces? Look. It's just like they have no defined features. They're just like a goo monster. Just like a blob on their face. Ugh. See? It's like some strange sort of just, I don't know, disfigurement. It's very eerie. Can you fall off? Okay. I was going to say, can you fall off the, the wood planks once you're on them? But I showed you that you can fall off the wood planks before you're on them. You can't fall off those. That is a straight path. The game kind of makes you think you need to be careful walking along those, but you don't. This is interesting. This is much more of an open-ended, like, expansion of the game than the early parts. The early parts were just, like, microcosms of little nightmares in, you know, in level form. But here they've done something very interesting by delivering it once again. Uh, delivering something new, like, still in the same style, but a little bit different. Okay. Okay, he's drawn to that. 
nice. They are very obsessed with their television programs. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a totally different type of mechanic than in LN1. It feels like a true... Whoa! It feels like a true expansion of the game. Um, and they're, they're really kind of strutting their stuff here. This is my favorite section yet. I'm curious to see who... Well, how we're going to get six back. And if that evil, tall, skinny dad is the last of the Muppets, or if there's another. I think there's got to be more. Right? There's a long... There's people just standing on their rooftops, which is very eerie. There's a long neck lady, a fat guy, a tall man. There has to be more than just that, right? You would think. Where are they all... Oh, they're all mesmerized by the tower. The tower of power. What is it doing to everyone? Why are they just all... So... Transfixed, huh? Okay, hopefully this, uh, it is kind of portal-esque now. We're going to use this to pop through, right? Three, two, one. Yep, launch this out a little bit. Kind of, I mean, it's basically portal. Not like all the way, but basically. What is this? Oh! Okay, we're gonna have to, I guess, electrocute a dude who's probably gonna chase us. Alright. Probably gonna be someone devious. Hello? Run, go. Come on, come on, come on. Gotcha! Okay, turn off the current. This guy is shock city. Thank you for opening our door, though. We're, we're like, this has really become a puzzler all of a sudden. Ugh, I don't want people to be just creeping around. Okay. Got that TV if we need it. Oh. Oh, it's the trash chute. Interesting. We do have the ability to teleport back up. We got a TV on. That was smart. Oh, we have no six. So we're going to have to do it ourselves. What's in this package parcel? Hmm, probably some protein bars. So much more time consuming and tough without a buddy. Lonely cough has become just straight lonely. Doing our best, though. Oh. No, no. No. got to this floor with the car and the bunny rabbit. Hello, bunny. Let me escort you to safety. I didn't save six, but I will save you. Oh. Hey. How creepy is that? Why is there an evil doll? Is it getting stuck on the bunny? Course. 
Uh, well? I thought that would work, but I guess not. Okay, that is a hard jump to make. Perspective-wise, it looks like I should be able to make it, but I think I'm just gonna go straight across so there's no water. Right here, yeah. Okay, lady is transfixed by her telly. Hmm. If I run her back in here, I don't know where I would go. I don't think I can make this jump, but we'll try. Maybe I can just hide behind the couch. Oh, seriously? Yo. Oh my god, you can just suck me in with your eyeballs? I'm not sure where I have to jump from here. I guess we should mess around with that before I activate the lady. I feel like the only reason I can make that is because of the height. Oh, here. Oh, hey! I thought maybe I could take her stool, but I guess if I get within a little cone, she's gonna kill me no matter what. Okay, I can make it. I just have to jump at the very tail end. Alright, we got it. Good to, good to know. Okay. <laughs> we gotta... Again, do all the work by our lonesome. No six, and they pop the TV, so we cannot teleport. It's all about me. And uh, slide in this little stool so I can get to the next room. Man, it makes you miss six, doesn't it? That little friend. I like how they're making us really miss her. Oh. Ow. Oh, that killed me? Okay. I guess I just didn't land it well enough. What is going on? What is on the TV that's so fascinating? Or is it just like, is it trying to just make a, a comment on all television in general? Like all people are just addicted to screens. They just fall off buildings. They're so obsessed with their screens. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's just wild and crazy. More and more, I'm starting to think that's what it's trying to say. I like that we have a little shopping cart, though. Keep pulling. You got it, dude. Come on. Shopping cart down the ramp. Somehow we gotta get up there. Sucker! Creepy bears. Creepy pears. Eat a little grizzly bear. Okay. 
was worried that was going to kill me for a second. Thank you for the shopping cart. Um... What are we trying to do? I'm thinking we have to like now move this, go turn it back on, that's my guess. I think, I think we have to turn it back on, climb over, and then be able to reach the TV. That is my guess. I'm kind of trying to sleuth these puzzles out as we go. Feels like that's the right thing to do. Okay. So we climb back up, back over. And now we can reach the tele. Oh god, of course I did. Of course I did a tiny jump. I don't know. This jump is easy. Okay, thank goodness gracious. If I had to do it again, I would do it again, but you know. Beautimus. Guessing I'm jumping out the window. I don't know where we're trying to get. I mean, I'm sure eventually we're trying to get to, oh wow, look at them all. I'm sure eventually we're trying to get to the, uh, the tall tower, but I'm not sure in the meantime. Come on, psychos. Come get mesmerized by this screen in here. Good people. Two can watch this one tele. Oh god. Yikes. Everybody wants the TV. They're pissed off at me. Oh wow, they really need the TV. Hey, where am I? Oh god. Oh god, chase! Chase sequence! Oh, holy cow, that's a lot of dudes. Go! Go, little buddy! Oh my... No! Seriously? What was I supposed to do? I ran as fast as I could. I, I kind of got stuck at the interstitial between the televisions. Okay, go. Like, around this wall, I got stuck there. Yeah, I'm supposed to have a much bigger head start. See? Cumbersome controls causing a little bit more tension than, you know, would actually be there. Some people are stopped by those TVs, but some are not. They need me. I stopped their TV. Good. Busted out of that one quite literally. And all is safe again. Catch my breath. Hmm. This has been such an interesting segment and section of the game. Quite fascinated by it. <laughs> 